This is Chicago Fire team writer Jeff Crandall, and I'm happy to be joined today by Davis Paul, a uh, new Chicago Fire draft pick. Davis, you look like you have some palm trees in the background there. Are you still in California? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm in sunny Southern California. It's like 80 degrees right now, so uh, I'm just enjoying outdoors while I can, you know? Yeah, soak it in, man. There's not much longer. <laughs> it's not as pretty here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm hearing all good things about Chicago, so I'm excited nonetheless, you know? Yeah, Davis, I wanted to get get a hold of you today and kind of, a lot of fans know about it. It's been a YouTube sensation. Uh, this Cal video, uh, you obviously went to the University of California, uh, kind of lip syncing to Chris Brown's For Your Love. Um, you're the producer, director, whatever, <laughs> the man behind the camera, so to speak. Um, I wanted to get your take on, you know, I don't know, how did that come about? Give me the story on it, I guess. Yeah, well, man, I, I was hoping this video wouldn't follow me everywhere, but <laughs> apparently it is, you know. Um, but yeah, what happened, we were, you know, in college, uh, we had a game in Oregon and uh, in Washington. It's like a five-hour road trip, and um, my best friend and roommate, Demetrius Umfra, who just got drafted by Toronto, sitting in the back of the bus, and, you know, we have time to kill. I had an iPhone in my hand, and we always make dumb videos. You know, he was an art major, so we were always doing something creative, and, uh yeah, next thing I know, we just started kind of like filming some little bits here and there, and we had a song. It was the first thing on our iPods, and uh, nobody really knew what was going on. It wasn't until we kind of showed them the video afterwards that they were like, oh, it makes sense now. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a joke, and next thing I know, Chris Brown tweets about it, and all of a sudden, you know, we're viral sensations, and we're on the news, and um, yeah, I mean, it was just a, a fun thing to kind of remember the team by, too, you know? Yeah, I mean, I looked at it today. All your close to three hundred thousand views on it as oh. of today. I think it went up on, <laughs> at the beginning of October. So that's that's pretty incredible. Um, congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's just, I mean, it was supposed to be a keepsake for the seniors, you know. Yeah. But uh, I guess it's a keepsake for whoever else wants to see it now. <laughs> right. So, as you mentioned, you got interviewed. You're on TV about just about this video. Uh, you got called by itunes actually could you talk mm. about that and whatever came <laughs> of it if if maybe it hasn't gotten any, gone anywhere or something in the future yeah i uh well i got a phone call from uh from apple just like shortly after and basically they they wanted to run kind of like a, a video campaign around uh you know college teams and kind of our free time and just creating and things like that on the fly but uh yeah, when I had the meeting with them, basically, you know, there's a lot of NCAA rules about sponsoring athletes and using us for promotional. So I think they were trying to get around all of it. But, you know, by that time, the season kind of ended and, uh, you know, we were already trying to move on to bigger and better things. But, yeah, it was, I mean, it's cool that it, it reached the head honchos, you know, and marketing for Apple. So not yeah, too bad. That's, that's pretty cool. Two other things I want to ask you about the video. You seem to have shot part of it at a Quiznos, which is a great, <laughs> one of my one of, a great restaurant, and then uh, also in a fruit market. Did you have to get clearance, or were you kind of renegade shooting like that uh, Beastie Boys <laughs> video? It, it was definitely, uh, it was on the fly. You know, we weren't, <laughs> we weren't really asking permission, but, um, you know, yeah, it was just a, it was a stop, you know, one of our bus stops on that five hours, grab some food. There's a, a random puddle and a fruit market. So we were just kind of making the best with whatever we had around, you know? <laughs> And then, uh, so I went to the University of Michigan. You didn't know that, but I went to U of M. Oh, I actually man. saw their rebuttal video before I even saw <laughs> yours. I thought it was good at the time, and then when we when the fire drafted you, I I was told you were the man behind the video. So when oh, I watched man. it, thought yours was way better. Not sure I like the way the uh, Michigan video makes <laughs> got you know people from the University of Michigan look. Uh, <laughs> throwing dollar bills around but uh what did you think of their video their interpretation of drake's uh, i forget what drake's <laughs> song it was yeah well you know out at the combine uh i became good friends with justin merriman and uh he was you know he went to michigan and he, the first thing he said was uh you know i apologize for making that video <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i mean we we got at least seven or eight different videos like within the first month and a half from random schools girls teams you know, I think we just got one from like Harvard track and field. So um, people are all doing response videos. And, you know, if you, if you can't tell that our team is completely 100% joking, 
uh, by everything that we're doing in the video that I think you're missing the point. And, you know, Michigan tried to go hard, and I think that defeats the purpose of, you know, what we were trying to do in our video. But, uh, yeah, I mean, more power to them. At least they're having fun with what they're doing, you know. Uh Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, right? So, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty incredible. That's what you, I'm hearing. you had a lot of knockoffs on on your video, so that speaks to how, yeah. how powerful it was, too. Um, enough about that. You're probably sick of talking about it. I wanted to do a quick fire <laughs> with Davis Paul. Uh, you didn't get these questions in advance, so just think, think whatever first pops into your All head. Right. That's what you're telling me. Um, All right. It's gonna, I think it's like ten questions. So, uh, favorite soccer team. Favorite soccer team has got to be Arsenal. Favorite player? Uh, probably David Villa. Uh, ideal day away from soccer? I mean, anything at the beach. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Favorite sandwich at Quiznos? Oh, that's a classic club with bacon. I it's love amazing. the classic club with bacon. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Best spot to snowboard? Uh, probably Mammoth Mountain. And that's in California? Assume. Yeah, it's uh, just Northern California, uh, okay. Eastern Sierras. Uh, favorite Chris Brown song? Ooh, man, there's so many. Um, <laughs> I want to say For Your Love, but I'm kind of sick of that song, to be honest. Uh, his new one, Yeah, Three Times, is actually shit, so go with that. <laughs> okay, uh, cutting edge video, video idea that we can steal from you. Oh, man. Um I think I would have filmed some behind the scenes stuff uh, through preseason. I think Frank, first thing he said is, "Hey, welcome to the fire." By the way, you should make a video of the, sh you know, during preseason. So um, maybe I'll, you know, get some candid shots of Kalen Carr snare snoring on the airplane or something like that. So, uh, favorite movie? Favorite movie? Oh, there's so many. I've kind of been conditioned, and I, I kind of like chick flicks. If I'm being completely honest, which is a little weird, but. Uh, you know, I think I told the MLS that How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is my favorite movie, so <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. Don't judge. Don't judge. Don't hate till you see it, all right? And then uh, favorite director? Favorite director? Um, it's got to be Steven Spielberg. That guy's amazing. All right. And then last one, best description of a California state of mind, which let me preface this. I spoke to Jaleel Anibaba earlier today, and he said, you are a prototypical Southern California guy. So... <laughs> <laughs> What's, Dang! What's your best description? He's, is he throwing me under the bus already? No, I don't um, think he's throwing you under uh, the bus. I just you know. yeah, you know, I think I definitely get stereotyped with the Southern California. I'm just the chill bra, just gnarly, huck it, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Even my Cal teammates kind of tease me, but um, yeah, I mean, I think Southern California just like loving what you do, you know, putting passion in, into everything. So I think people want me to say lazy, but um, you know, that's definitely not me and. You know, I, I'd say just loving what you do, you know, having a good time. That's it. Okay. Thanks, Davis. Uh, we'll see you real soon uh, for preseason here. Perfect. All right. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Yep. Later. Thank you.